Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Do This with Evan. Today I'm going to be giving you a crash course on how I installed my RV pedestal for my campers with 50 amp and 30 amp power. And this is how much it costs to bring electricity to the property. They ran it in 200 feet and put in this box with two 15 amp GFCI breakers. So first you wanna go on your website for your city or state, click uh, the permit application, get an electrical permit. This is before changing anything on the property. I clicked existing home and then you put in your address. You put in a quick description of what you're gonna do. And in my state, I had to do a rough in inspection. Make sure you use 6.3 cable. If you're running a 240, uh, that's big enough to handle that much voltage. So you get two positives and a neutral and a ground with those. And so we had to trench it out. That's direct burial line, that's 6.3. So we need to go 24 inches deep. What we also needed that I found out was GFCI breakers for the outlets because they don't make GFCI outlets yet at 50 and 30 amp. So I had to buy these breakers that were very expensive compared to regular 50 and 30 amp breakers, which runs six to eight dollars. Now I have to spend 180 and 110. So digging out the trench, it has to be 24 inches deep. Um, so we chose the hottest day of the year to do this is not a good idea but I'm running about 10 feet out um, just enough to reach the 50 amp cord from the RV and so this is what comes from the electric company it came with two 15 amp uh, outlets so I did have some power but I needed to put in this pedestal so I could get a full 50 amp service running to the uh, trailer so I'm taking out the breakers that came with the box and I'm putting in GFCI breakers to cover me on what the state needs me to do because now it has to be GFCI rated even for pedestal boxes or what they call temporary power. This is where the pedestal box is going to go. This is the length of the trench. So I have to put my wire in there, take a few measurements with pictures of my tape measure in there, sent these to my electrical inspector, and then he had to give me the thumbs up on it. And then we could go ahead and bury it, hook up the lines, and then get the final inspection. So here we are hooking up through the uh, PVC, the electrical conduit. I used an expanding foam in a bag to set my post. I sent him the pictures, gave me the green light. So we went ahead and buried it up. So comes... This is to the pedestal, the two 120s go in there, and then the ground and the uh, neutral. And then this is coming from the electric box from the power company. I buried it up. Project took a few hours in a day and hooked it up. And here we got our big pass. Thanks for watching.